Milo, look what we're going to read today. Oh boy, do you know this book? There's Anna and Elsa. And who's this? That's right, it's Olaf. You love Olaf, I'm sure. Okay, it's called Frozen. Let's see what happens. Let's see who's in here. Oh, there's Anna and Elsa again. Yep. And we'll go to the first page. Ooh, look how much fun they're having. They're jumping on all these things. And there's Olaf. And there's Anna up in the sky. And what's Elsa doing? She's making all that happen. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it really is. Let's see what happens. When Princess Elsa and Princess Anna of Arendelle were little girls, they were the best of friends. Anna was one of the only people who knew Elsa's secret. Elsa had the power to make snow and ice with just her hands. She could go whoosh. One night, Elsa filled an empty ballroom with snow. The sisters played together, building a snowman, sledding, and ice skating. That sounds like fun, ice skating. But as they played, Elsa lost control. She accidentally hit Anna with a blast of icy magic. Anna was badly hurt. So her parents went to the ancient mountain trolls for help. And there the wise old troll told them that Anna could be saved. She was lucky to have been hit in the head and not the heart. Ooh, let's see what happens next. So you get your book and turn the page. I can do it. There we go. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And look how sad. They're both so sad. She's trying to keep her safe by staying in her little room by herself. And here's Anna trying to get in. And they're so sad. Let's see what it says. Even though Anna got better, her parents worried that people would fear Elsa's powers. To keep her gift a secret, they surrounded the castle with walls and never let anyone inside. But whenever Elsa had strong feelings, the magic still sp spilled out and Elsa didn't want to hurt her sister again. So she never played with Anna. That made Anna feel very lonely. Even after their parents were lost in a storm at sea, the sisters didn't spend any time together. Hmm. And here they are years later. It was time for Elsa to become a queen of Arendelle. For just that day, the castle gates were opened, hundreds of people attended, and the crowning ceremony when Elsa became the queen. And Elsa worked hard to hide her feelings and her powers. Anna loved meeting all the new people. I wish it could be like this all the time. Me too, said Anna. And look at that nice prince. Not so nice, really. At the coronation party, Anna danced with the handsome Prince Hans from the Southern Isles. He made her heart flutter. It seemed like they had everything in common. There they are in the moon. You see that big moon? Because the gates were just open for one day, Hans and Anna knew that this was their only chance to be together. Can I say something crazy? Will you marry me? And she said, yes. And there they are. They're going to go tell Anna that they're going to get married. <laughs> Anna and Hans asked uh, Elsa for her blessing, but Elsa thought that their engagement was a bad idea. You can't marry a man you just met. My answer is no. Anna couldn't believe it. Why do you shut me out? What are you so afraid of? Elsa started to lose control. Enough. As she shouted, I shot out of her hands and everyone stared at Elsa in shock. Now all of Arendelle knew Elsa's secret. Elsa panicked and fled into the mountains. 
There she goes. Hmm. What? Oh, okay. There you go. Cutie Pie wanted something. Okay. Ooh. Who's this? You remember? Yes, you remember. That's Kristoff. <laughs> oh, I am Kristoff. And who's this? You remember what his name is? He's a very nice reindeer. Okay, let's see. As they climbed the mountain, Anna and Kristoff discovered a beautiful winter wonderland. There, they met an enchanted snowman named Olaf, and Anna thought he looked familiar. Olaf, did Elsa build you? And Olaf smiled. Yeah, why? Do you know where she is? Yeah, why? Kristoff got to the point. We need Elsa to bring back Summer. Olaf was eager to help them. I want to see Summer. Olaf couldn't wait. He loves Summer, huh? I think I skipped a page. Oh, I did. We'll just go back. Okay, we'll go back to the page I skipped. Anna felt horrible. Elsa's out of control powers had created a terrible winter storm in the middle of summer. I'll bring her back. I'll make this right. She left hands in charge of the kingdom and she raced after Elsa. But as Anna rode through the fierce winds. Her horse threw her into the snow and ran, ran off back to Arendelle. Luckily, Anna met an ice harvester named Kristoff. Yay! <laughs> I know how to stop this winter, she said. And together, they set off to look for Elsa. Okay. And there's Olaf, and he's saying, Summer, I want to see what summer is like. Yay, 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 yay. It'll be so warm and fun, right? Yeah, Cutie Pie likes summer too. Okay. Let's turn the page. I like this reindeer too, he's so cute. Look at him with his cute little ears and everything. <laughs> okay. Here's the bad guy. Boo. Okay, well, what is he going to do? <gasps> Meanwhile, Hans was hard at work helping the people of Arendelle. But when Anna's horse came back to the castle without her, Hans knew he couldn't stay. Princess Anna is in trouble. Hans turned to the crowd. I need volunteers to go with me to find her. Soon, Hans and some soldiers set out in search of Anna and Elsa. There they go to the big place of snow. Okay. Back on the mountain, Olaf led Anna and Kristoff to a giant ice palace. Yeah, it was an ice palace. Is that crazy? Okay. Where that Elsa had created with her powers. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Okay. Even Kristoff was impressed. Now that's ice, he said. It's very big, look at that. Oh, all right. <laughs> there they are fighting again. Oh, those sisters, always fighting. Let's see. Inside, Anna told Elsa about the terrible storm in Arendelle. It's okay. You can just unfreeze it, unfreeze it, Elsa. Elsa looked worried. I don't know how to do that. That's not good. Elsa was afraid that if she went back, she would just make the storm worse. Arendelle and Anna might be better off without her. What am I going to do? Poor little girls. Hmm, they don't know what to do. Well, I know what I'll do. I'll make a big scary monster. <laughs> This does not look like Olaf, does it? No, this looks like the abominable snowman, only he still has his teeth. What do you think? What do you think, cutie pie? You have cute teeth, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right. Okay. They're running fast. Look at them.
Elsa. Elsa used her magic to create a huge snowman and he chased the friends out of the palace and towards a tall cliff. Kristoff pulled out a rope to help them climb down. What if we fall? There's 20 feet of fresh powder down there. It will be like landing in a pillow, hopefully. They leaped over the edge and landed safely on the fluffy snow below. They had escaped from the big snowman. And Anna had other things to worry about. Get dirty going so off. <laughs> uh oh. Anna got hit again. Anna's hair was turning snowy white. It's because she struck you, isn't it? Kristoff thought Anna brought Anna to the trolls, hoping that they could help her. One troll told them that Elsa's icy magic had struck Anna's heart. If the magic was not reversed, Anna would soon be frozen solid. Only an act of true love could thaw a frozen heart. Anna knew she loved Hans. Maybe a kiss from him would work. As the friends hurried towards Arendelle, Anna began to shiver. Kristoff was especially worried about her. He started to care for Anna. Oh, yay, Kristoff. Do, 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 do. Okay. And there she comes to the sky, but he was not a good guy. He was not a good guy, cutie pie. Let's see what happens. When Anna arrived in Arendelle, she said goodbye to Kristoff and Olaf, and then she raced to see Hans. As soon as they were alone together, Anna asked Hans to save her with a kiss, but Hans refused. Anna real realized that he only pretended to love her. He wanted to take over Arendelle by getting rid of Anna and Elsa. All that's left now is to kill Elsa and bring back Summer. Up, up, up. Hans left Anna alone and shivering. Luckily, Olaf found her and helped her warm up by building a fire. But Anna was still getting weaker and weaker. As Anna told him about Hans' evil plan, Olaf glanced out the window and saw Kristoff racing towards the castle. He realized that Kristoff loved Anna. There is your act of true love right there. It was Kristoff that Anna needed to kiss. With the last of her strength, Anna struggled to get outside. There she is. I must get outside to Kristoff. There she goes. Oh. Meanwhile, Elsa had escaped from the dungeon, but Hans close behind her. Elsa, you can't run from this. Hans told Elsa about her magic blast to Anna's heart. I tried to save her, but it was too late. You killed her. Not true. Elsa collapsed in the snow and closed her eyes. Everything she had done to protect her sister had failed. It was all her fault. Nearby, Anna was hurrying towards Kristoff. When she heard the clang of Hans' sword, she turned and saw Elsa was in danger. He was going to kill her. What a mean man. Ooh. There he goes. <gasps> He's putting up his sword. <sighs> Instead of saving herself and running to Kristoff, Anna leapt in front of her sister. No! As Hans swung his sword, he shattered against Anna's frozen body of ice. She had turned to solid ice. There she is. Elsa clutched her sister. Oh, Anna, no, please, no. Suddenly, Anna began to thaw. Her arms, warm again, reached around Elsa, and the two sisters hugged. And Olaf watched them. He remembered what the wise old troll had said. An act of true love would thaw a frozen heart. Anna's love for Elsa had saved both of them and the kingdom. Yay! Here they are. Soon, the two sisters were best friends again, and Summer had returned to Arendelle. Elsa even made Olaf a little snow cloud to keep him from melting. One day, Elsa had a surprise for Anna. The castle gates were wide open. We are never closing them again. 
The sisters smiled at each other. Now everything was the way it was supposed to be. Does that make you happy? Hmm? Oh, good. Cutie Pie's happy too. Bye. I hope you have a really, really fun day. Yay. Go play in the snow if you can. That would be fun. But if not, you can pretend it's snow. Yes, we can build snowballs and throw them. Yeah, that would be super fun. Don't you think so, cutie pie? Mm -hmm. I do too. Love you. Big hugs. <laughs> Big hugs to cutie pie too. Oh, yes, you do like that. Bye.